Today we're gonna bum around in my lodge and we're gonna talk about a very touchy subject. The subject of cheating and fair gameplay. Now this is often a subject people don't like to talk about because, well, you can offend people, but I'm not meaning to offend anyone in this video whatsoever. We just wanna have an honest conversation. Now, I honestly get called a cheater just about every day. Honestly, not every day, but every few days, I definitely do in the comments. And if you have been to any of my streams or watch me regularly, you will know I am a very honest player. I have actually never misrepresented myself once since being on YouTube, never. Because I just couldn't live with myself. I what I get is what I get. And I have never used a mod. I have tried the population scanner. I used it for literally a day or two. I just wanted to see how it worked and then I deleted it and that was a couple years ago and I've never used it since, but I do have friends who use it. I personally don't have an issue with it, but being an EW creator, we are not allowed to use mods and that is a mod, so I don't touch it. It doesn't tell you where the diamonds are, it just tells you that you have these kind of diamonds and I think now it even tells you rare fur coats. You could use the population scanner to reset your pop over and over again until you get a super rare. I guess you could do that. I'm not 100% sure because I'm, I don't know exactly how it works. But when people don't play straight in the game, if that's how they wanna play, then it's absolutely none of my business. It only becomes my business when you post it as legit to social media. And that is the message of today's video. If you are going to do funny stuff on your map, that's totally fine if that is how you like to play the game. I can totally respect that, but please don't post non-legit trophies to social media because those of us who are out there hour after hour killing fallow deer after fallow deer after fallow deer, it's very frustrating to see all these trophies and it's gotten to the place where when people tell me the crazy things they've shot, I honestly don't know whether I should believe them or not. I just give them the benefit of the doubt and say congrats, but I don't know if it's true or not, and that is kind of sad. Guys, let me know in the comments what your stance is on cheating and fair gameplay. I would love to know. Some people think you can't cheat if you're on console. That is incorrect. <laughs> you actually absolutely can. You can ghost your map. There are actually people who trade on console. You can actually ghost your map and just hand out the same trophy. I have seen ads for people selling their great one and they actually, by ghosting their map, can just create a copy of that great one, give it to someone and still keep it on their own map. The only thing that'll take that off their map is an update or them shooting it. Now, if you are on PC, I have had people say to me, if you're on PC, you're a cheater and that's it. Well, that is definitely not fair. There are lots of people who play on PC who do not cheat. I can tell you that hands down. You can't just say if you're on a certain platform that that makes you a cheater. That's not true at all. Yes, it is probably easier to cheat on PC because there are a pile of mods. I just did a little search and had a look at the Nexus mods and I'm ab absolutely, my mind is blown with how many mods there are. You can get mods that will slowly increase the amount of trophies that start to spawn. Fill your map full of diamonds. You can get any great one you want. You can pretty much do anything with a mod. It's absolutely insane. And if this is how you enjoy playing the game, then like I said before, have at it, whatever you think is fun. I honestly would like to encourage people who do do that to really Get out there and hunt and try and see the super satisfying feeling you get from actually earning the trophies yourself is a real high. That is the joy that I get from this game. And I have been on PC for two and a half years and I have not had a single super rare. I've had five super rare trolls, but not a single super rare. I have two on Xbox. That's just the way it is. If I were going to be a cheater, I promise you I would have a super rare on PC <laughs> because I would really suck at cheating if I didn't. Sometimes when you do grinds, sometimes they're gonna be really long, sometimes they're gonna be really short, and when they are really short, I usually do get called a cheater for that. It's just a numbers game. When you do multiple grinds, I have now spawned 18 great ones in this game, and I have killed thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of animals, and I have no idea how many hours it took, 
but let me tell you, I earned every single one of them. Now this black bear, great one back here, he came in only 850 kills, whereas Scarecrow's great one took well over I think it was 8,000. It's insane. The difference there can be in RNG, but that's RNG for you. But if for every really long grind you're gonna have, you will have a short one if you continue grinding. That's just the average of numbers. This is actually my favorite trophy ever. And he just kind of spawned. I wasn't even trying to spawn him. <laughs> Crazy things do happen in this game. But when you earn trophies, there's this huge sense of accomplishment and you should be proud and happy and excited and wanting to show that off to everyone. I totally get that. I just wish there was more of a sense of trust, but unfortunately with all these mods that are out there, it makes it impossible for us to know what the next person is doing. So what you see online, I just say congrats and hope that it's true. That's all you can really do. Now, a few weeks ago, I raided Tipsy FPS. He is one of the EW content creators and he is a great guy. Definitely check him out on Twitch, but he was jumping multiplayer servers and he ended up on a server that had been modded. Every animal on that map was either a diamond or a great one. The host was the one who created this map. He opened it up to multiplayer and it was full. Seven people joined and they were all just randomly shooting all these modded in crazy trophies. And immediately they were being posted to the official hunters discord, but we could see on Twitch, everyone who was on that server and that it was not legit. So you can't get caught. That is a thing. There are lots of different ways you can cheat, I suppose. Some people definitely have a more strict definition than others on what cheating means. Now, I personally don't have a problem that if someone finds a diamond they already have that they give it to a friend. I personally don't take them just because people would offer me them all the time and I want the trophies in my lodge to be mine. And I, I am never judgmental about that. I don't have a problem with that. I just personally don't do it because I get offered a lot of trophies. It just wouldn't be right for me to do that. I don't feel good about it. That's just my personal choice. But I'm not judgy about it. I really don't care what anyone does behind closed doors as long as they're having a good time. If you bought this game, you really do have the right to play it any way that you want. Just don't let it affect other people. That's a super troll right there. That is a 239.29 legendary piebald red deer. He was a guaranteed troll. I'll show you another one. And this guy is a five medium leucistic reindeer. That was another guaranteed troll. 399.3. He is a beauty, but not big enough. I have the worst luck, let me tell you. But that's just the way it goes. Some things I get lucky with. And look at this. I have spawned four fallow great ones and they all have the same rack. It is my favorite rack, but I don't need four of them. That's just what spawned for me. What are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? Now, a couple years ago, I did botch my very first Red Deer Great One. I did leave the game and come back and then I regretted it and I promised I would never do it again and I did keep my word because I did have another mess up. I honestly think the shot was good. It didn't register as good, so it is what it is. But I had a lot of people tell me to leave the map at that point and just refresh him so he isn't dead. And I just couldn't do that. I just said, no, let's just leave it. And we took the gold because you can always spawn another great one. And we have spawned three more. I still would love to get another painted. The painted fur is stunning but it just gives me another goal to aim for. That's what I love about this game. You can never run out of things to do in this amazing game. Now we're gonna talk about another touchy subject and that is the subject of herd management. Now, some people think that herd management is cheating, but EW has come out to the community and publicly said that they do not feel that herd management is cheating in any way that it's literally min maxing it's using what you have on the map and there was a lot of controversy over this a couple months ago and some creators like to use herd management other creators don't like to use herd management and there was a little bit of a fuss was getting kicked up but i personally think whatever way you enjoy playing the game is how you should play 
And if EW says it's not cheating, if you want to do it, you should do it. And if you don't, you shouldn't. And I just don't think we should be judging each other for it to be cheating. It is way too much work for it to be cheating. Let me tell you, it is an insane amount of work. But you can definitely get some sweet trophies from herd management. It does make them appear faster, but you have to do a lot of work to get your map to that point. It takes a lot of hours and a lot of kills. And I personally don't think herd management makes great ones spawn faster. I have just seen too many inconsistencies. I have seen people not use herd management and get a great one in 20 kills. And I have seen people with herd management get a great one in 8,000 kills. So it just doesn't really seem to matter. The great one's gonna come fast or slow no matter what you do. That's just what I think. I don't know. No one knows really because we don't know exactly how the game works. And I think that's a good thing because we need a little bit of mystery in the game. If we knew exactly how it worked, it would take some of the fun out of the game. But I just wanted to quickly touch on the subject and just encourage people to please only post legit trophies to social media. Let's keep it on the up and up. If you wanna goof around, do whatever you want in your personal game, that is totally up to you. I think you should play the way you enjoy playing and we all should just have an amazing time playing this amazing game. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.